he's suffered two back to back losses in recent junior heavyweight tag matches. He will be out here today to show Kiyomiya a trick or two. For me, Ogawa is someone you don't want to be coming up against when your confidence is low, when you're going through a losing streak. Ogawa is exactly the type of wrestler who will thrive on that, and he will look to exploit these rare weaknesses in Kiyomiya's game. Arguably the worst possible timing for this singles match for Kaito Kiyomiya, but if he can pull through with a strong performance today, win or lose, it will do a lot for his confidence. He's carrying a lot of frustration with him at the moment. And by all means, he seems to have lost his place in the whole scheme of things. He's won only two of his five singles matches this year. One against uh, Tadasuke in Hamamatsu in April and another very impressive one over Yukito Hidaka in May. That's right, Kiyomiya's losing streak, of course, includes his defeat last weekend at the Cyber Fight Festival. He lost out to DDT's Weno. He also lost to Nasawa recently via a countout. And before that, he lost to Masato Tanaka and also the GHC at the time champion, Keiji Muto. His fellow tag team partner, Yoshiki Inamura, has been having a hell of a time reining him in lately and trying to keep him calm and focused. Mark, one can only wonder how much patience the big man Inamura will have with him. Yeah, we're going to have to see how that develops. He's taken out the brunt of his frustrations on Inamura so far. But now he needs to focus on Ogawa. And some great height on that elbow drop. 30-year age gap between these two, which could be a factor today. But there is some common ground. Both men have held the GHG Heavyweight Championship on one occasion. That's right, Mark. 30 years age difference. And... Interestingly enough, 30 years professional wrestling experience difference. As crafty, as cool, as calculated as you can be is Ogawa. You can illustrate that immense age gap by the fact that Ogawa debuted back in 1985. And Kiyomiya was only born in 1996, 11 years after Ogawa made his pro debut. Mind blowing just to think about it like that. At the Cyber Fight Festival. Last week in the Saitama Super Arena, of course. They gave a good performance against Konosuke Takeshita and Yuki Ueno. But again, it was the, the frustration of Kiyomiya just unable to contain himself and control himself. And at the end of the day, wasn't able to, to be the tag partner that he should be. He's got all the tools, all the credentials. Maybe it's a mental barrier he's going through at the moment. This is the most challenging period of his young career. It's something he's going to have to go through. These things make the man no mark, you know. He'll look back on this in 10 years' time and it will be a completely different wrestler. That's very true, Stuart. Kimir more, more than holding his own against the mat expert Ogawa. Showing good strength, good agility, and good pressure early on here against Yoshihari Ogawa. Well, oh, powers up out of that one. There's the bridge from Kimir. Back into that side headlock. Test of strength here. I have to favor the younger man. Kimi, of course, only 24 years old. Ogawa taking hold of the hair there for a moment. Trying to roll Kiyomiya over onto his shoulders. We are reversing it back and forward. You have to maintain your focus when you go up against someone like Ogawa. That's the challenge that awaits Kiyomiya today. Can he put that losing streak to bed? Can he get back in the winning column? Inamura is at ringside and he hopes that his frequent partner, Kiyomiya, 
We'll be back on the winning side today. Bogart slams him off. The apron. Trying to damage the back and get away out of that. Manages to break out. Five minutes into the match. Bogart sends him over to the rail, but he stops it with his foot. That's more like it from Kiyomiya. That's why he's the youngest GHG heavyweight champion in history. That one made me flinch. Right between the legs into the Takoyakis. Writhing in agony. I feel his pain, Mark. Ogawa stamps down on his face for good measure. Three starts the count. Doesn't need it though. Ogawa stays on duty. Shinari Ogawa, originally from the Ibaraki area of Japan, trained by Giant Baba, Genichiro Tenryu, and Kazuharu Soda. That. Such a scientific, map based offense. This is where Ogawa comes into his own. Springs out of it, gets dropped back down in. He's got excellent control of that arm. Great awareness from Kiyomiya. Well, of course, once held the, the GHC heavyweight belt, but right now at this stage in his career, he really doesn't need the power and the strength anymore. He's so clever. He reads everything so well, and his techniques are so on point. His groundwork is really second to none. Professional wrestling. Stamping down there onto the arm of the supernova. Batters his head off the turnbuckle. Oh, look at that. Nice counter, the arm drag. And the scissors choke now. That's a horrible place to be. And that sizable frame from Kiyomiya as well. Well, he stays on it, but Yoshinari Ogawa knows exactly what he has to do to get out of it. And he's so smooth in this department as well. Again, back onto that scissors reversal from Kaito Kiyomiya, cranking it up on the neck now. This could be just the sort of test that Kiyomiya needs today. He can take a scalp like Ogawa. We'll give him a big confidence boost. For sure. Ogawa twisting the ankle on the outside. Kiyomiya intelligently getting out of that. To the cross face. Again with the hair grab. Okay, oh, well. tactics. Don't think the referee saw that. Very, very back and forth so far here. Get the shoulders over just for two there. Scissors choke himself. I know this triangle almost from Yoshinari Ogawa. Now Kiyomiya needs to escape. He's out, he's got the pressure on the ankles of Ogawa. Look at that, straight back into it. Just slaps his techniques on so quickly and so smoothly. Kiyomiya looking to hop out of this one, springs out. Excellent work. 
back into that same technique as Kiyomiya. More than happy to try to out-wrestle Ogawa. This is very much Ogawa's domain on the ground. Shoulders are down. Fraction away there. Ten minutes into the match here. A surprise singles match between Yoshinari Ogawa and Kaito Kiyomiya. Now we didn't even know how many matches there were, but now we know this being the co-main event. And there's one more after this. That's right. Comes in with a shoulder barge and a knee. Ogawa can more than mix it up in the standing department when he needs to. Snaps him over. Kiyomiya reverses it. There's that quickness from Kiyomiya. That's crucial for him today. His quickness, his power. Ogawa cannot match up to the physical attributes of Kiyomiya. I have to say, Mark, Kiyomiya is looking a little bit better today. He's looking a little bit more controlled, a little bit more focused. Yeah, he's acquitted himself very well so far. He's not, he's not letting his emotions carry him as he has been in recent weeks. That's right. He seems to be very much in control at the moment. To the choke sleeper now, that was quick. Oh, we're trying to grab the referee there, but immediately realizing he has to defend the choke. Yeah, you don't want to give away your neck. Cardinal Sin. <laughs> Ogawa trying to tuck his neck to stop Kimia coming through. There he goes. His version of an arm drag. Kimia still on him. Staying on him. Yep, retaining control of the head. Where the head goes, the body will follow. Good strategy from Kimia. Just to try and put everything back together again, physically, mentally, needs to be in the right place. So much pressure, so much expectations for the young man. Kiyomiya snaps, Ogawa over, follows up. Big leg drop. All over him like a rash here. Back onto that choke sleeper. It's like a short choke this time. Goes him over to the canvas. Let's see if he can get his shoulders down. Give up. Up wearing down the veteran. At the moment, he's arguably beating Ogawa at his own game. This has gone on a lot longer than I thought it would, and it's fascinating. Really great to see Kiyomiya coming back somewhat here today, but it's not over until Yoshinari Ogawa sings. That looks very low. Straight to the family jewels. South of the border goes Ogawa. Ogawa's going to capitalize on this for sure. That swings the momentum back his way. Drops the elbow down into exactly the same place. Ogawa throws him through the ropes. Outside of the ring now. Referee tell him to back off. Shoulder charge through the ropes. Comes over the top. Tries to drag him over, but Ogawa hanging on to the rope. Stopping it from happening. Manages to get him over. Can he get the pin here? The assist from the referee there. It's illegal to be holding the ropes like that. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. 
Stabs on the choke. Elbows his way out of it. Kaito Kiyomiya off the ropes. Stopped by Ogawa. 15 minutes in, double foot stomp from Yoshinari Ogawa. Ogawa's face already displaying the signs of this battle so far. <laughs> Nothing compared to the signs on the face of Kiyomiya recently taking some heavy damage. A lot of blood from his head in recent matches, especially that one with Rosawa Rongai slamming him with chairs outside the ring, leaving him in a bloody mess. Right now, Ogawa battering him against the guardrail and the corner post. He's going to have to watch that head or he will open up that same cut again. He's just checking to see if there's blood there. Psychologically, you wonder if that will give him a, a scar, mental scar. It's always in the back of your head, you know, after something like that happens. He's facing the crimson mask that day after repeated chair shots from the sour. Kaito Kiyomiya coming out on the right side of that exchange. Ogawa flat on his back. Opportunistic as ever from Ogawa. Grabbed the pants and threw him over into the ropes. Follows him outside. Classic Yoshinari Ogawa. Taking the opportunity to inflict just a little bit more pain, a little bit more damage. There's the count. Yoshiki Namura looks on. Trying to make sure Kiyomiya's okay. Six. Uh, seven. Seven. Give me a rally's back. Eight. Eight. Uh, gonna answer this. Yes. Hey. Ogawa far from done. Yeah, there's no letter from Ogawa. Launches him across and catches him into that choke sleeper hold again. Okay, I'm stamping on that. The back of the knee just to keep him down. Ah, now cranking it across the back and the neck. He's trying to make him a tap out here. This causes an incredible amount of pain on the lower back and the neck, of course. Kiyomiya's gone limp momentarily. One eye is closed. How can he find a way to get out of this? Using his strength to get out of there, the supernova manages it somehow. Gain off the ropes, catches the leg. Shirani with the leg ride now. Target in the back once again. Twisting him up. Get that leg right off, he manages to, and flips him over onto his back, looking for the elbow drop, nobody home. Ogawa out just in time. Telegraphed by Ogawa. Oh, into the eyes again, the referee saw it this time. Ogawa getting somewhat desperate now, wouldn't you say, Mark? Yeah, these are the type of tactics that we know Ogawa has. <coughs> He'll do whatever he needs to to try and come away with a win. <laughs> he to let go of the hair, he doesn't. He continues to the turnbuckle slam in Kiyomiya's face off, drags it along the top rope, trying to open up that cut. <laughs> Referee telling him that is a foul, but that's not going to phase Ogawa one bit. He continues the punishment. 
Takes a hold of the legs of Kiyomiya, <laughs> looking for that stomp to the nether regions again, but the referee wise to it this time. Ah, drops down an elbow. Let's seriously hope, Mark, that if Kaito Kiyomiya wishes to have children in future, that he still can. Okawa has his own plans today in our co-main event. Trying to stop the bloodline by the looks of it. Now we're trying to get under the supernova. Kiyomiya defended it well so far. Yeah, he's used his right leg to block it. Counter, suplex. Beautiful work from Kaito Kiyomiya. Turns a round of applause from Yoshiki Inamura, who's ringside. This is turning out to be quite the battle. Swinging neck breaker for Mogawa. Back drop suplex. Takes the top position. Kicks out of it, Kaito Kiyomiya. Great conditioning for Mogawa, 54. Flying headbutt. Pulling it out of the bag just at the right moment there, Kiyomiya. This one really could go either way. Who would have thought that coming into it? Both men face up, star shaped. The referee starts to count. Someone has to answer it. Will Kiyomiya return to winning ways? There's the kip up. Flips out there. This is more like it from the supernova. Fired himself up. Forearm smash. Ogawa in the corner. Ogawa reverses it but takes an elbow. Kiyomiya has quickened the pace here to great effect. Is this his moment? Can he return to winning ways? Ramping up the pace, firing himself up. Ogawa still down. Although slowly getting back to his feet, Kiyomiya from the top ropes. Here he goes with a flying drop kick. Not enough yet to stop Yoshinari Ogawa. Again, kicks out of it. Ogawa. It's all about how Kiyomiya handles this now. Mentally, has to stay strong. Can't let up against Ogawa. He's on some good momentum here. Oh. Another blow. Downstairs, the place he doesn't want it. That's what happens when you have over 30 years experience. Now it's Yoshinari Ogawa back on his feet. What you got in store here for, for Kimia? Here's the big knee. Still has some fight in him. Does the supernova. Gets sent right over the top rope there. He grasps his knee in agony. Yoshinari Ogawa face up. Can he answer it? Can he get back in? He has shown he can rally back. He has shown he can dig deep. This is when he has to do it. Ogawa's asking questions only, as only he can. Oh no. Back onto the corner post. And that leg, left leg of Kiyomiya. Seething his pain, in pain is the 24-year-old. And another one. Ogawa's not gonna let up with these. And off the apron, on the same leg. Inflicting a world of pain on Kaito Kiyomiya is the veteran. 
。我高啊。Can he come back from this? Can he fight through the pain? Does Kumia want this? Still on the leg, cranking it up now on that second roll. Kumia trying to rally his way out of that. He's got the cross face, but is it enough? Momentary fight back from the supernova. 25 minutes into this mark. Incredible. Neither of the two is showing any signs of defeat. A lot of pain on the face of Kiyomiya, but he's still going. It's a drop toe hold. Ties him up. Drops a huge knee down onto that left leg again, and a second from Ogawa. There's a third for good measure. Oh no! Elbow down onto it. Ogawa is absolutely unrelenting here. Left his back exposed, tried to crank that left leg up. Could this be a Yoshinari Ogawa going in for the kill? Throws a boot in, takes a slap from Kiyomiya. Kiyomiya coming back with the slaps now, starting to trade here. Off the ropes, Kaito Kiyomiya. Manages to take down Ogawa with that one. On his back, outside of the ring is Ogawa. Oh, no, 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 Stamping down one after the other. He's caught on those ropes. Taunting him now, Yoshinari Ogawa. Slaps him in the face. Teasing the youngster. Ogawa knows an infinite amount of ways how to manipulate your body, how to inflict pain. As Kiyomiya is finding out now. Already past the 25 minute mark. Massive slap from Ogawa. Kiyomiya in an absolutely horrible spot here. The referee having to help him out. Drags him to the center. Inverts him. Single leg across the crowd. Cranking that, cranking that, and still cranking that. Kiyomiya presses out of it. He's got to get to the ropes. He has to break this hold. He makes it. Forces Ogawa to release that single leg Boston Crab. But not before. It ripped his back and his leg. He stays on that left leg. Slams it down. There's a jaw break from Ogawa. Fighting back now, Kaito Kiyomiya. Dragon screw from Kiyomiya. There's a figure four leg lock. That's actually one of Ogawa's go to techniques. Sweet justice here from Kiyomiya. Uh, but Ogawa reverses it. Ogawa can't believe this is happening. Doing his best to get out. Kiyomiya on the wrong end of this now. Not about to give up. Not about to tap out. He will not utter those words, I give up. He will keep fighting until the bitter end. Now we'll see how much fight is in him. 
no. How did you respond to this? Okay. Ah. Set free for a moment. Still at work, still in the office. And returning the favour with the figure four leg lock, Yoshinari Ogawa looking to stop Kiyomiya in these final moments. Right in the centre of the ring as well. 30 minutes in here. The referee's almost pleading with Kiyomiya. He's going to tear his leg apart with that one if he doesn't stop it. Ripping away. Yoshinari Ogawa like a python on that one. Sure, he has the victory. Confident he has the win in his grasp. Kiyomiya looks him in the eye and says no. Kiyomiya is defiant, but what can he do here? Has to get out with his shoulders are down. Gets up just in time on the two count. And his leg's still locked. He's still in this figure four. Kaito Kiyomiya writhing in agony, screaming, screaming in pain. Still not giving up. He has to get out of this or reverse it. He needs to change something, Kiyomiya, and he needs to do it fast. Harata and Sasimu look on in the background. Sorry, that's Yitsuki Yoshioka. Stinger members confident that their senpai will take the win here today in this singles match. Kaito Kiyomiya looks absolutely spent after that figure four. <laughs> How much does Kiyomiya have left? That's what we need to see. How much does he have left in the tank? Not enough by the looks of it. This time he is close to the ropes though. It's a rope break this time, but that was horrifically painful looking. Kimia can't afford to be in a figure four again. Just to get back to his feet and keep things standing. That's where his game will be favoured. He's got that left leg again. Thunders down onto the knee twice. And again. Kicks out of it. Desperation move, it felt like there from Kiyomiya. Highly effective. It was all he could do. Trying to get the blood flowing again. What an all-out war this is. Kaito Kiyomiya coming back. Still taking damage from Ogawa, but still coming back. He can't let his emotions take control of him because Ogawa will take advantage of that. Trading the forearms now. This is where Kiyomiya needs to keep the contest, keep it standing. A succession of them, one after the other in the corner, and a huge one drops Ogawa. We've seen this newfound intensity, this level of aggression in recent weeks. Just has to channel it, channel that energy. Big drop kick from Kiyomiya. Trademark drop kick on the button. Boom. Ogawa always with the comeback. Always with the counter off the ropes. They meet in the middle. Kiyomiya takes the top position now, looking to stop it. Ogawa kicks out. Kiyomiya seems to be getting his second wind here. Or maybe third or fourth. Ogawa takes a hold of the referee here. 
Always with the desperation tactics. Always using his surroundings to his advantage. Kicks down on the knee. The damaged knee three times. Oh, right through the ropes into the corner post. DDT. Is that it? Kaito Kiyomiya could be done here. No. 35 minutes and still wrestling, still battling, still going at it. Big back drop suplex from Ogawa. No. Kiyomiya says. I was sure he was done there, but no. Still in it. Still game, still alive. But back on his feet first, Yoshinari Ogawa. Ogawa. Shaping up like he's had enough. He wants to try and put Kiyomiya away once and for all. Countered from Kiyomiya. Right the down. body. Onto the back of the head of Ogawa. That chicken wing face lock now. Could Ogawa be forced to give up? Can he get to the ropes? Can he grab the referee? What will he do? The sweat pouring from the referee also. Is he going out yet? Kiyomiya is trying to put Ogawa to sleep yet. Slides across for the rope break. What a ring general Ogawa is. Amazingly getting out of it. Incredible awareness as ever. Here comes Kiyomiya. Tiger Flosion. Getting some good power on that. Ogawa stops the three count with his hand. We were just talking about that ring awareness. How did he save that one? Kiyomiya looks at the referee in disbelief. Belly to back. Into the hold. Doesn't get the pin. Somehow gets out of the bridge in German suplex. Kiyomiya is wondering what he has to do. Try and put 54-year-old Agawa away. Back onto the sleeper. Choke sleeper hold over the Noah logo. Shoulders are down. Oh, so close. Ogawa goes back to that leg. Goes off the ropes, gets stopped in the middle by Kiyomiya. High knee does the damage. Again the reversal. Still manages to get out. Kiyomiya off the ropes again. And a big standard drop kick from Kiyomiya, but grabs the shoulders legs. Are down. The shoulders are down, and that's it. Yoshinari Ogawa manages to stop Kaito Kiyomiya. In an incredible war of attrition. This went on and on, back and forward with an incredible amount of damage inflicted by both of these men, but the experience of Yoshinari Ogawa shone through at the end of the day. プロレスリング。ノア。ゲスト。プロレス動画配信サービス。レッスルユニバース。様々なプロレスコンテンツが月額900円でいつでもどこでも見放題。ここでしか見られない試合もプロレス見るならレッスルユニバース。